What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is David here. So I've had lots of requests on how to use KuCoin, how to trade on KuCoin, how to exchange on KuCoin, just everything about KuCoin. All right, so that is the leading platform, the leading exchange place that I use to get my coins and to trade my coins other than Binance. Some people can't use Binance or Robinhood because it, in their states it blocks them out, stuff like that. So therefore, I always tell them to use KuCoin. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first you need to make sure you download KuCoin. And here it is right here. I will circle it for you right there. So you need to make sure you search KuCoin, K-U-C-O-I-N. All right, so now you have KuCoin installed. You can see this main screen. You can see all this stuff on here. It looks super confusing. You see all these numbers, especially if you're new to crypto trading. It just looks super hectic and super busy and super hard. Really not. The main things you need to do is buy and sell crypto. You know, there is a lot of stuff. Here, let me get my little drawing thing out. There's all of this stuff in the middle, but if you're not going to do anything other than trading, you don't really need to worry about any of that. Yum. So what you need to do right now is you need to buy crypto. Most likely you're buying USDT so you can trade it for something else. So you need to hit this button right here, buy crypto. crypto. All right, so now that you're in this screen, you need to use a credit card or debit card. You need to make sure that you are on this right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select right here where it says, I want to buy. And you're going to go down until you see USDT or whatever currency you're trying to buy to exchange it for another currency. So you're going to want this right here. And click on it. And then right there it says, I want to buy USDT Tether. Mine was already on that, just in case anyone says anything. Um, and then you're going to say, I want to spend. So... The lowest you can buy, the minimal, is $30. So I'm going to put, I want to spend $30. Then it show, it, if, depending on what currency you buy, it's going to show different people, different channels that offers you it. Um, like, let me go to Bitcoin. There we go. So Bitcoin, if I want to buy $30 in Bitcoin, it actually gives me two different options right here. But I don't want Bitcoin. There we go. I want USDT. So now... All you do is hit confirm. It's gonna come up. You're gonna make sure you check I have read and you're gonna hit confirm. So I'm not gonna stay in this screen just because I don't need to buy anything. So I'm just gonna go back up, back out, back out. So what you're gonna actually have to do, you're gonna hit buy. Then you're gonna have to have your state ID, your license ready. That's gonna ask you for either your passport number or your license number, just click it. And then click license number, put it in there. It's going to want you to take a uh, snapshot of the front and the back of your ID. What you're going to want to do is don't hold it. You're going to want to lay it down on something, take a picture of both the front and the back, and then go ahead and take a selfie with it. So you're going to hold it up next to your face, take a selfie, and you're going to have to upload all of that into the third party app. Um, Crypto is super secure, so they want to make sure it's you buying this stuff and not someone else using your name um, to make it false. Identity, false, all that good stuff. I'm gonna sound like I know what I'm talking about, I swear. So, now you bought everything, right? So now you're like, well, I said I bought it, but where is it? So, what you're gonna do before you, you're gonna see a different screen than what I'm on now. You're gonna have to force close KuCoin. So if I hit the square, I can actually slide it up and get rid of it. Bam. So I'm not sure if you're on Apple. I'm not sure what that button is. Whatever button it is, the force close an app. So I'm going to go back into KuCoin. So now once I'm back at this screen, you're going to go ahead and click on assets, which is down there underneath this menu that I can't freaking move. <laughs> anyway, it's in the bottom right. You're going to click on assets. Then whatever you recently bought, it's going to be on the main tab. It's going to be on the main tab right there. Um, and it's going to show up right here lots of lines love my lines 
yeah so the problem right now is kucoin's been super busy usually it takes 10 to 20 minutes to get your funds um get your whatever you bought the currency you bought but as of right now it looks like they're running like hours behind uh there's a few of us that's been running like uh, we've been waiting like three hours so i just tweeted them um waiting on a response back to say what the heck's wrong with your third party people um because we want to do some trading and you're making us lose out of money overall even if it's pennies you're still making us lose out now let's say you have it so let's say right here on the main it says 100 percent that's what it's going to say right there where the two lines are so now what you need to do is you actually need to get it over into the trading spot so that way you can convert the usdt over into something else let's say this one inch no funny jokes no funny jokes there let's say this one inch is your usdt so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it you're just going to touch it and it'll go to this screen so now what you're going to want to do is down there in the bottom left hand corner down here is transfer you're going to go ahead and click transfer now what you're going to do is you're going to see this main account and this trending uh, trading account you're going to make sure it says that after it says that you're going to there's actually going to be an amount and you're going to hit all and then this will light up green you're going to go ahead and hit green boom and what it will do is it'll send it just like a bank account it'll send it from your main account all the way over to your trading account so you want it in the trading account so let's go back. Then you're just gonna go back, back, back until you get back to your assets. Now, instead of main right here, instead of this saying 100%, now this is gonna say 100%. 100, that, that's 100, I swear. <laughs> so you're just gonna touch, attach that. You see, different screen, different screen, X pull. You don't need to worry about any of the other stuff until you learn what all this stuff is. So now, once you're in trading, that gives you access to do stuff so if you look down in the middle which is right here right, right, there we go right there i know there's a bar in the way right now i'll get rid of it it says trade so now you're going to hit trade now you're in the trading screen i know all this stuff's confusing but just just bear with me um on the right you're going to see red numbers and green numbers the red numbers is what people are selling the green numbers is what people are buying so right now i'm on shib um, if you guys have watched my Facebook posts, I did buy half a million worth of SHIB. Um, what you're going to do first is you're going to make sure you're in spot because you're not going to see SHIB right away. So you're going to make sure you're in spot. Then you're going to touch right here where the, whatever it says, you're going to touch that. That's going to bring you to this screen. So you don't have to be worry about favorites, USD, whatever, all that stuff. If you're going to trade SHIB, First, you need to type in SHIB. Then that's going to come up. SHIB slash USDT. You're going to go ahead and click it. So now you're back, You're right where I am. What SHIB slash USDT means is that you have SHIB and you can trade it or you have USDT, either or, and you can trade it, convert it back and forth to each other. So what you have USDT right now. I don't have any on my screen. But what will happen is it'll show you US, available USDT right there. So that'll be there. What you're going to do first is you're going to click limit. And you're going to go to market. That's going to give you the pretty much the best market. Once you learn how to um, work all this, you can actually go to limit. You can set a limit. And when it reaches that limit, it will auto sell. But as of right now, you guys are just learning. So just hit market. So now you're going to go ahead and hit 100% which is right here. When you hit this 100% right here, it's going to go right here and it's gonna put 100% of your USDT right in this. It's gonna plug it right there. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna hit buy SHIB. So what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna convert your SHIB, or I'm sorry, it's gonna convert your USDT into SHIB. So once all that goes through, now you can go back and you can hit your assets, which is down in that corner. So you hit the assets. And, and now in your trading, and right here, it's going to show SHIB right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you bought SHIB or whatever else you want to convert it with. 
So some people are asking, well, how do I make money? How do I do this and how do I do that? Well, if you go back to your trading and you see what you can buy SHIB for right now, um, which you can see, well, I can't, I can't even show you because I can't do anything. <laughs> I don't have anything to experiment with, so whatever. But actually, if you see right here, that's pretty much what everything's going for. Point zero 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 three two three one. I'm not sure if I missed the zero or added a zero right there. But so pretty much anything, if you buy it for that price, anything over that will be a profit. So if you just hang on to like SHIB until like, let's say it does, it's competing with Dogecoin right now. Let's say it does go to 10 cents, right? So if you go to right here, if you click sell right here, oops, let me get rid of that. There we go. If you hit sell, it's going to say amount of SHIB. You're going to hit 100% but obviously I don't have anything. And then you're gonna sell. So let's say if you have a half a million SHIB, which is on my Facebook post, and you paid, well, the minimal you can buy of USDT is 30, but I I just put, I had $17, $16 actually, and some change to put on SHIB. So, but if you were to put, buy like a half a million of SHIB, and let's say it hits 10 cents. So let's say this is now, you know, point one zero zero blah 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 blah. you are now going to profit fifty thousand dollars so like let's say it is like that so now you're going to hit a hundred percent of your ship and you're going to hit sell ship and that ship is going to act is going to actually get converted into usdt and then you can go on and sell the usdt in american dollars super super easy sopa sopa is and that's about it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm on my cell phone, so it's odd. Um, I'm trying to edit everything on my cell phone too. So excuse me, I'm at work. So it kind of sucks. Can't really edit that well on the phone at work. I'm used to being on my computer. But I hope this helps you guys buy crypto and get your first trade on. Um, I hope you guys have lots of success. But as a disclaimer, like I tell everybody, I am definitely not a financial advisor, so therefore, if you lose money, don't blame me. But you should never, ever, ever play with money that you're not willing to lose because just like the stock market, crypto market is super, super unpredictable and you could be up $1,000 one day and the next hour everyone can sell and you could be negative. So you just have to only play with money you're willing to lose. So that's everything. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. Make sure you all like this video and share it with all your friends because I know a lot of people has been trying to figure out how to get on board with crypto. So share this video and I hope it helps everybody. This is David. I'm out of here.